Hey guys and welcome to another Minecraft football predictions video and a happy St. Patrick's Day to ye all. Top of the morning to ya, pints of Guinness, uh, Guinness is holy water, uh, what else? Up the Ra, Mochi Black and Tans, etc, etc. But not really with the top of the morning to ya, we don't actually say that. Thanks a lot Jacksepticeye. <laughs> well, yeah. Happy Paddy's Day, and let's jump right into our football predictions. Up first, we have Armagh versus Galway. Um, Galway in third, Armagh in fourth, so it's going to be pretty even. Um, who do I expect to win? Could go either way. I think I'm going to go with Armagh. Um, I think they'll just about do it. I wouldn't say it'll be by too much. I'm only going to say by two points. Um, I think Galway will put up a good fight. So, Armagh to win by two points. Up next, we have Kerry versus Ross Common. This should be a good one. This should be a very good one. Uh, Kerry are kind of struggling. Ross Common are doing very well. Uh, after getting promoted at the end of last year, so could go either way. Um, but I think I'm going to go with Ross Common since they're doing so well and Carrier kind of struggling. Um, but I think it'll be close. So I'm going to go with three points. I think I think it's a close. It's a small enough gap between scores, but and Ross Common will still get the win. So. Roscommon to win by three points. Up next we have Mead versus Dublin. Another one that could be pretty interesting. Um, Dublin are doing better than Mead. Mead are kind of mid-table. Dublin are second. Dublin have only lost to Derry so far. So it's looking good for them. I think it'll stay that way. Do I think it'll be a big win? Probably not. I think Mead can probably hold their own um, but I'm gonna go with five points I think Dublin will just manage to outdo them so Dublin to win by five points up next we have Antrim versus Cavan Cavan are currently sitting in first Antrim are in sixth so the advantage is definitely with Cavan will it be a big win could be could be uh, Cavan are definitely a very strong team um, so I think I'm going to give them a reasonably big win. I'm going to say by eight points. I think Cavan are they're really doing well, and I think they're definitely they're definitely going up to Division Two, and they're probably going to w win this division as well. So Cavan to win by eight points. Up next we have Tipperary versus Offaly. Uh, should be a close enough one. Offaly are in 5th. Tipperary are in 7th. Um, hard to say really. Um, should be close. But I think Offaly will probably just about manage it. Um, I'm going to keep it a small score. I'm going to say by Two points. I think Tip can maybe hold their own against Offaly, but Offaly will just outplay him in the end. So Offaly to win by two points. Up next we have Fermanagh versus Westmead. Uh, Fermanagh in second, Westmead in third. So it's basically a control for second place. Um, two points between them, but Westmead have the better score score difference I think yeah from the looks of it so Westmead looking to take second place from Fermanagh Fermanagh looking to hold on to it um, could go either way uh, but I think I'm going to go with Westmead on it um, I'm gonna say by three points I think they'll use their um, score difference to drive them on to overcome for mana. So Westmead to win by three points. Up next we have Down versus Longford. 
Um, Downer in fourth, Longford are in eighth, so the advantage is definitely sitting with Down. I think it'll stay that way. I think Longford are kind of struggling at the minute. Um, I'm going to say it'll be a kind of middling size score. I'm going to go with six points. Um, I think Down will just be too good for Longford in the end, so Down to win by six points. Up next we have Waterford versus London. Uh, Waterford are really struggling. Um, they haven't won a game at all yet. London have managed to get a single draw. So this one, this one could actually be end up being close. Um, because both of them are kind of uh, London got that got a lucky draw with Wexford, um, and I think. Had they not gotten lucky with Wexford, they'd probably be <laughs> on zero points as well as Lo as Waterford. So this is base this basically to kind of oh, decide which one of them is on the bottom at the end of the weekend. So it's hard to say, really. I think this could be the turnaround for Waterford. I think they'll want to get off the bottom of the table. And this is the game where they'll do it. So I'm going to say Waterford, but I'm going to say by very, very little. I'm only going to say by one point. I think London will really hold their own against them, but Waterford will probably just get like a lucky point near the end. So Waterford to win by one point. Up next we have Carlo versus Sligo. Uh, Sligo are in second. Carlo are in sixth. Um. Sligo are doing pretty well. They could be one of the teams going up. Uh, so I'd say they'll probably get the win here. Do I think by much? Possibly. Uh, I think I'm going to stick kind of around the middle. I'm going to go with... Seven points. I think they'll just be too strong for Carlo. So Sligo to win by seven points. And our final game on Saturday is Wexford versus Wicklow so could be an interesting one um, Wexford are in fifth Wicklow are in third so uh, winner should go above the other because um, the score difference should help with that maybe they're yeah they're, they're pretty close on scores for and against so could go either way um i think wicklow or wexford have kind of surprised me in the football they were they've had a pretty decent run in the league so far um they've had the two losses but they've managed the two wins and the draw to kind of cancel that out so I think I'm going to go with Wexford. Um, I think they could surprise us. So, But I don't think it'll be by much. I think maybe three points. Um, they'll probably get like a late goal or an early goal that'll just seal the victory for them. So Wexford to win by three points. And our first game on Sunday is Monaghan versus Tyrone. Um, Tyrone in sixth, Monaghan in seventh, both level on points. So really it's a battle to avoid the relegation zone. Um, so it could go either way. But I think Tyrone might be doing that a little bit better than Monaghan at the minute. So I think I'm going to go with Tyrone on this. And I'm going to say by three points again and I think Tyrone both of them are struggling a little bit but I think Tyrone might be doing just a little bit better so Tyrone to win by three points. Up next we have Donegal versus Mayo. Mayo are currently sitting top of the table, Donegal are bottom of the table. Advantage is definitely with Mayo. I think it'll stay that way. It's just, like I have the table up in front of me. It's simple. Mayo just have a, like, a huge advantage. But Donegal could surprise us. Donegal could really surprise us. 
but male are probably looking to go go big this year. Um, I think I'm going to go with eight points. I think Mayo will just be too strong for Donegal in the end. So Mayo to win by eight points. Up next we have Derry versus Clare. Um, Derry are currently in first, Clare in seventh. Derry unbeaten. Clare have lost four of their five games. So advantage is definitely with Derry. I think Derry can I think Derry are going to go the group stage of the league completely unbeaten. Actually, you know what? I think they'll go the entire league unbeaten. I think Derry are going to win Division 2. So Left going with Derry, and I'm going to say by 12 points. I think Derry are just going to be way too strong for Clare. Just way too strong. So, Derry to win by 12 points. Up next we have Loud versus Cork. This is a battle for third place. Cork are in third, Loud are in fourth. Uh, but they're level on points. So, winner of this will be sitting in third. Um... I think Cork will probably take this one. I think Cork will be will be a bit stronger than Loud. Um, <clears throat> so it, it's not going to be by too much since they're so close. I'm only going to say by four points. I think Cork will just be that little bit too strong for Loud. So Cork to win by four points. Up next we have Limerick versus Kildare. Kildare in sixth, Limerick in eighth. Um, it's really looking like Limerick to go back down, but they could, you know, they could maybe pull something off against uh, Kildare. They managed to get the draw out of Mead, who are only one spot above Kildare, so who knows? And you know what? I think it's going to go the same way. I think it's going to be another draw for Limerick and Kildare will get a draw, their first draw. So I'm going to go with Limerick, Limerick and Kildare to draw on this. The score... I'm gonna say 20 points each. I think it'll be a high scoring game and it'll be a back and forth. One of them will go in front and the other will go in front and eventually the, it'll level out and it'll finish a draw. So Limerick and Kildare to draw 20 points each. And our final game of the weekend is Leitrim versus Leash. Uh, Leash are in first, Leitrim are in fourth. Um, Leash are looking like the one, the team to beat at the minute. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with Leash on this one. Uh, probably won't be by too much. Could be though. I'm going to say by six points. I think Leash are definitely going for the win this year. So Leash to win by six points. So there you have it, those are my predictions for the football this weekend, be sure to also check out the results video when that comes out, as well as the predictions and results for the hurling. So, if you enjoyed this video don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share, happy St. Patrick's Day, and I will see you for the next one.